I'm going to show you how to get Peridots, like you can see here, in Disney Dreamlight Valley. So, we are looking for something specific here. First things first, you want to be looking for rocks like this. Now, you may have already seen in the game that sometimes the rocks will actually have gems poking out of them. That is going to guarantee you get a gem. However, these ones that don't have any gems in, don't be fooled. You still can get gems by whacking these ones too. See? I just got a gem from that rock, even though we didn't see any gems in it. And that there is actually a peridot. I'm going to pick up this, um, this little memory I got as well. So... I'm going to show you what the Peridot ones actually look like if we do have, um, you know, Peridots in them. And they are going to look like this. So also, another thing, how long do these take to respawn? It is about five minutes. So if I break this and I don't get any gems, you know, how long do I have to wait until it actually regrows? It's about five minutes. And again, if you don't see any gems in there, still break it because you could get some. You're only going to get Peridots in specific biomes, and that is Dazzle Beach. So you can get Peridots in Dazzle Beach, and you can also get them in the Peaceful Meadow. Nowhere else is going to give you a Peridot. Once you do find the rocks, though, what you can do is apply this to your pickaxe, the even more miraculous pickaxe polish. Basically, this is quite, well, I would say it's fairly far into the game that you unlock this in your crafting bench. And it adds 25 uses to your pickaxe, and every swing on a piece of rock gives you a much higher chance of dropping gems. What I would suggest is that if you're not sure if you have unlocked it or not, pop over to your crafting bench and just see if it's available in the potions tab. And there we go, guys. That is how you're going to get Peridots in Disney Dreamlight Valley.